Hi folks, hope you're doing well. Yeah. Joey's had a good walkies. Went down to the park for a little bit. And they had um, half a chicken for each of them. So that was a supper. <laughs> yeah. Normally, they, uh, they only have a little bit of food for supper. But, um, yeah. That's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the last few days, I've been watching um, programs. And I'm seeing a lot of food in those programs. In people's houses. And, you know, fresh bread that they made and cake they made that sort of stuff I said to God okay my idea I need my wife to bake all the time yeah and God says oh do you want to be fat <laughs> I said no 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 <laughs> Uh, there's a question from God. Do you want to be fat? Because <laughs> I said I want I want a wife who bakes. Yeah. Do you want to be fat? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that was funny. Yeah. Yeah. That's the point, folks. God does have a sense of humour. He really does. Have a sense of humour. He knows this because I mean, recently I was talking to God about the fact of my lot of clothing. Yeah, that I could use two years ago. I can't wear them now because I don't. I'm bigger now, so. <laughs> and I said to God, I need more clothes now because obviously, yeah. <laughs> yeah and so yeah 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 having a tiny bit of fat doesn't bother me at all but the reason why is it's quite simple if you're cuddling to someone you don't want to feel bone and it's not right if I'm, if I'm going to be with someone in the future yeah, if she cuddles into me, yeah, bones, no, just muscles, no, a little bit of fat, that's better, yeah. Well, because, yeah, it's better for, to squeeze someone if they've got a little bit of fat. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's better, so, yeah. It's warmer as well, yeah. Well, because yeah, if you've been some with someone, or a few people in your life, and you know, sleeping with people, you know, if you're sleeping with someone who's really skinny, in winter they take all your heat. But you don't want that. No. Because obviously they need your heat because they're quite skinny. So therefore they need your heat because they could be cold. Or colder than you if you've got a bit of fat. So therefore, no. No. <laughs> you can't steal, stole my heat, no. <laughs> so, yeah. Now, as I said, the idea of a house that smells of freshly cooked, you know, pastries and, yeah, that's that's attractive. I like that. Yeah, that'd be nice. And the dogs, they love bread. Love bread. 
So, yeah, you, you can't really make too much in own bread. Yeah, for the dogs. I don't eat much bread now. More compared to what I used to. I don't eat much in my bread because it is a bit... I don't really like the taste of it. I love toast. And so, therefore, you know, with freshly cut bread, yeah, if you make it... If you cut it really thick, then toast is absolutely gorgeous. Especially in winter. Oh, yeah. Hot toast with butter. Oh. It's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. With thick bread, yeah. It really is good. So, yeah, I like that. Um, yeah. It is very, very much what it is. So, yeah. But, I mean, you're not to have other people around as well, so therefore they can eat most of the pastries. So. It doesn't need to be me anymore, does it, really? <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, as I said to God, basically, you know, do stuff for summer, do winter stuff as well. So, obviously, in summer, you want lighter stuff, lighter cakes, and in winter... Yeah, winter cakes and that sort of stuff is different, so yeah. Yeah. But yeah, someone who actually bakes, yeah. I saw um that Santa thing. Secret Santa thing. Um today and the woman the story was she bakes all the time for other people and her oven went bang to that on that day. So yeah. So basically they gave her money to buy a new new oven. And yeah, that's why I said to God, Okay. I I need a wife who bakes because that'd be lovely. Yeah. And his answer? Yeah, perfect. Yeah, that was funny. Yeah. Anyway, there you go. You take care, God bless. I'll speak to you soon. But, yes. Hopefully this Christmas you'll get a, a new understanding of God. Yeah. Yeah. Indeed. Well. Hopefully your hopefully your relationship with him will be better. Yeah. Well. Well, because the only one who knows you that that much is God. He knows you so well. And he knows your big picture. And he wants to help you. Yeah. I've said before what God told me. He doesn't see sin. Because obviously the blood of the Son covered the sin so okay father doesn't see sin but he sees how sin hurts you and other people so he wants to help you to deal with those issues so it doesn't hurt you and the other people yeah it's that sort of love It's that sort of love. He sees how things hurt you. And he wants to deal with those things to help you to not be hurt by that stuff. You know, so, yeah. Be blessed and be a blessing. And, yeah. Have a fantastic 
Christmas. Bye-bye.